Isaac Wilson gave us this gift. Isaac Wilson, you magnificent bastard. Oh. I think it's a magnificent. Men, may, Magnific maybe. That's magnificent. Is that like or magnificent? It's the manliest version of magnificent bastard. <laughs> magnificent. Magnificent. You are man. Magnificent. magnificent bastard. So we reviewed this in 2018. Yeah. It was. We liked it a lot. Okay. We liked it so much that the distillery sent us a gift of a bottle from all the staff. They are horrible at bribing. Usually yeah. you give the things on the front end. Yeah. I don't remember if we reviewed that. I feel like we did. Yeah. Uh, we got batch 70. Mm -hmm. That was the one that we liked. This is batch 102. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to do is a batch variation of Watershed. Okay. Yes. Now, I don't know if you could get Watershed easily, but we're going to do a batch variation of it. Now, these guys are uh, legit. They're 40, winning awards. 47%, 45%. Yeah. They're winning awards and shit. Right. Here, keep yours in an order I can determine. So that's the right bottle. That's okay. The left bottle. Most recent here. No, left bottle there. Right bottle there. And older one here. These guys, you know, they're winning awards, they're making good bourbon, they're doing apple brandy finishes, they're working with Marianne Eves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eves did a whole release of Watershed as she chose it of one of the ones craft guys she was working with. Both are nice on the nose. Yeah. There's a bit more presence on, how are we going to refer to them? Uh, 45%. 10, the, the batch number? Maybe 102 and 70. Right. 102, 70. Okay. So 102. I like the nose of 102 better. Me too, but the 70 has this molasses note that I kind of like. Yeah. That's think, not entirely present in 102. Hmm. 102 know, is more fruit. This is all right. So already this is interesting because we often say classic bourbon notes. Yeah. But these are both squarely classic bourbon, but the the yeah. gradation, the gradation. It's um, pretty big. Yeah, of still squarely classic, but this is leaning towards one end of the classic. We're in the 20% variation mm -hmm. on these two things, but both of them still maintaining that classic home shit. plate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Way more cherry, grass and cherry. Uh-huh. And say way more corn. Yeah, dust. Corn, yeah. And molasses, a slight bitterness to it. Yep. In the nose, anyway. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the most recent one first. I think I think I I smell the barrel more in here. Mm. That oak thread underpinning those notes. Maybe that's what it is. The dark molasses, burnt molasses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try the grassy cherry. Oh, that's really nice. Ooh. It's caramel cherry. Ooh, that's really good. They got very, sh some type of sweetened vanilla. Very this is the most Kentucky home plate bourbon craft Ooh. that I've ever tried. The finish tried. is really nice too. Like if you like Kentucky bourbon and that's what draws you to bourbon, right. this is the one of the craft distilleries that comes closest to heading down that direction of home plate. It takes a long time to get there, but this finishes really nicely. Now coming back, I'm getting a green tea nose, but like a green tea mochi, like a yeah. like dessert. Mm -hmm. It's not too herbal. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, I really like that. I really do too. Okay, let's go backwards in time to batch 70. Oh, and then a little bit of a apple sweetness. The really. wood bitterness is stronger. Mm -hmm. I said apple sweetness on this. I'm getting more of an apple in the nose of this now, comparatively. Yeah. The apple showed up on the taste of that, but on the nose I'm getting like a Fuji. Mm. Oh, there's a little more barrel spice to that 70. Hold on, though. I gotta say, I kind of yeah. like the 70. I, I like the nose of this one better. Palette. I like the taste of this one better. Yeah. Wow. I wonder if... Uh, there's like graham, ca graham cracker, some nutmeg. Just curious. Did you blend them? Yeah. So this is... Uh, I don't know if this is all of theirs, but I think it might be. It's a four grain recipe. So it's corn, wheat, rye, and spelt, mm -hmm. which is a type of wheat. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's it's a pain in the ass for farmers, but it's a type of wheat, mm -hmm. and they use it in their mash bill. Spelt. They say it gives. It's not used very often. They say it gives a nutty flavor oh, to the you know, whiskey. I, the, I do love the nutty. I like, uh, the, I like the nutty. Stuff. I do know. But uh, the nutty. 
gosh, I, you know what? Going into the nose in the first approach, I was leaning towards. Oh, hey, try that. This one. Here. But eventually. Try the. Oh, that was a, that was a lot. I don't have hardly any left. <laughs> you want some? <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> you guys are going to give me a. <laughs> You're going to backwash and then try to offer me some. It's fine. It lost the magical thing of each, didn't it? It's fine. But yeah. Yeah. Individually, these are better. It really is middle of the road. Mm -hmm. Like it evened out the nose and palate, mm -hmm. but it sort of took both down a yeah. notch. Not bad. Yeah. But the things that make them still interestingly squarely classic bourbon, mm -hmm. but within that spectrum of classic bourbon flavors, what these do by themselves are much better. Executed. I still agree. Nose, palate. Yeah. 102, nose. 70, but either, either one's nice. Either way, right down home plate. Either way is pretty damn nice, though. Man, Columbus, Ohio. Oh, me, oh, my, oh. White Bread's Reserve. So question, not just to Rex and Daniel, but to everyone. I have a whiskey cabinet in my office and constantly receive criticism from coworkers. Nancy's, probably wear pantsuits. You know what I'm talking about. That feel I should bring in vodka, rum, and other vile BS spirits. Or Kevin's. Uh, they also make fun of my amazing collection of He-Man toys that I have on display. Yes, I'm a man-child of 43. How intensely do I tell them to pound the sand with all of the intensity? Yeah. I'm a, a Ninja Turtle man myself. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Yeah. What's, the, what's the theme song from Ninja Turtles? I Teenage remember Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes Ninja in a Half Show. Turtle, Turtle power. power. Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, I was mixing up with G.I. Joe. So basically they're saying they want vodka and rum and other spirits yeah, in but, the cabinet. Why then, would you? Look, here's the, all you have to say. Yeah, if you like whiskey. Look, you have, you have an office. Yeah. Get your own cabinet. This is where. You provide rum. This is where you say, I would love to provide those spirits that you bring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you want to contribute to the cabinet, all right. there is room for I'll you. give you a corner of a shelf. <laughs> To put your thing, yeah, right there. We'll put your little name on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be all yours. Uh, but you know what? The vile spirits, quote unquote. I actually enjoy gin. Yeah. So here's the thing. I like gin and I like rum. Two weeks ago. Well, there's a asterisk on the rum. I've had some amazing yeah, rums, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's kind of it's not like Captain Morgan. Three right? out of five rums that I've had are uh, mm. that's not really cutting it. So we we went to visit a local rum distillery that we're going to start working with. Yeah. High rum. I didn't get to go. You mm -hmm. went. Yeah. But I gotta say, for the last week and a half. By the way, speaking of time, that's what happens whenever I buy you the time. <laughs> Right, you get to go on these ex outings, these excursions, but at the expense of my own time, where I'm having to like fill in these gaps. That, uh, tell me about it though. For the last I, I've week driven and by. Half. I've driven by. It looks very cool. I haven't got oh, yeah. to go. It's high. For the last week and a half, I've yeah. been making rum cocktails at the house. Okay. Crushing ice and things. With theirs or so just so frou frouy and such like buried alcohol and what, what rum? Like their rum, high rum, like okay. the white rum yeah. and the dark rum. Right. So good. Man, it's so good. Hold on. I've been doing like painkiller, which is like pineapple juice, orange juice, coconut cream, <laughs> right. and rum. Great. Shaken and poured over crushed ice. Right. Oh, Hold mojitos. On. Hold on. This is, oh. this is not, this is, not this, is, this is a lot of frustration. I'm glad you had so a wonderful good. experience. I'm glad you had a wonderful experience. This is very frustrating. They taught me. This is very frustrating. No, no, no. Hold on. It's because, on camera. Because, again, <sighs> cut this is why I shouldn't care about people's feelings or considerations <laughs> because Daniel has gone on record. Yeah. I'm not a cocktail guy. Yeah. I don't like cocktails. So creating content is like, oh, well, we have cocktail segments. Well, unless I want to, how do I be mindful be on a beat? How do I be mindful of Daniel's preferences and not drag him into the cocktail segment? It's like, yeah. oh, well, Brianna's in the cocktails and I can like figure out the schedules and she's only available for a limited amount of time. And then you come and tell me yeah. on camera, you come and tell me actually, Cocktails are pretty great. <laughs> yeah. What the hell, man? Only if I pretend. What the hell? I'm tap beach. dancing around to this laundry list of preferences yeah. and things that you don't like. Get me on a beach. <laughs> I'm making drinks for the beach. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I drink it and I pretend like I'm in Hawaii. Right. I'm just. I I'm feel in like, Hawaii. I feel like I need to apologize to the people. <laughs> I'm sorry, the people. Because. <laughs> the because. In me being considered of your preferences and your schedule, I have robbed the community of you on camera discovering the glory of like a well-crafted cocktail. I oh, know, I love He's cocktails. Like, what? What? 
What are you saying? <laughs> How many times? What the f is going on? What? Lady Lilith Parker, me at the beginning of the episode. Oh, Kavanaugh from the Kavanaugh's. How many different ways will Daniel butcher these names? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This time, me at the end of the episode. Wow, that many. Got to be a record. <laughs> yeah. That's real. Yeah. Uh, I what? You know what? You say that this is a, a popular thing, and I kind of go into it with the, the bar set pretty pretty high. Hmm. This isn't you know a budget bottom shelf thing, and maybe no, it's one awards. Maybe the context is well for the money. This could be good, but no. just as is. I don't know how much it costs, but as is, that's really nice. But still being very comfortably familiar in the range of what bourbon is best at. Yeah, and it's not going to catch you off guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I actually like the hell of it. It's going to reward bourbon expectations. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. us.